going before, especially of course last week and really for the past week and a half plus with that record heat. Now getting into the tropics because we actually have a little bit to talk about potential tropical cyclone two is here off the coast of South America right now and it has almost or just about tropical storm force winds, but it's missing some of the other tropical cyclone criteria like it's not really developed. It hasn't really developed its low pressure center yet and gotten very organized. It's still quite messy. So there's some high winds, but still a messy system. So that's why it hasn't been named a tropical storm or even a depression yet, but it probably will become one pretty soon. So that's why you can see the forecast from the National Hurricane Center is going toward the extreme southern Caribbean islands, maybe even scraping parts of Venezuela or Colombia as it heads over to the west. And it does look like once it emerges in the southern Caribbean, it might become a hurricane. That would be the first one of the season. And again, this would likely be named Bonnie. It would get the B name. Then it might move into Central America, possibly somewhere around Nicaragua, and that would be in about five days from now, maybe over the weekend. But there's a big ridge to the north that's going to keep this to the south. So that's why even though this will likely get a name and we'll be talking about it soon as a named storm, we're not expecting it to affect us. Now, our five day tropical outlook for us here in the Gulf Coast area, kind of near us, we have this low end chance for development from a little spot that is just south of our coast and which has been enhancing our rain chances today and really through the week. But it is going to slide to the west. So that's why the area where it might develop is not so close to us, a little bit more to the west, and then maybe even uh, it may get a nudge into the Texas coast by Wednesday or Thursday, bringing Southeast Texas some needed rain. And for us, we're just in this same general pattern where we have the low pressure near us along with a weak surface front. And all of this is going to enhance our rain chances too. It looks like that may then move farther to the north and maybe even eventually bring some rain to Dallas over the weekend. So we will see. Now there's one other spot way out in the Atlantic Ocean. This one has a near 0% chance of developing in the next couple days, but our five day chance of formation is 20%. So still not a good chance of this developing anytime this week, but we will see what happens once it tries to get toward the Caribbean Sea. This one you'll note has a little bit farther north track. It looks like at this point, but what we're seeing right now with the long range models, even kind of keeping it off to the east and maybe not getting toward our part of the Gulf. Of course, that's really long range, so you just kind of have to take models that far out with a grain of salt, but one more spot that we're watching. So basically in the tropics this week, we just have that slow development possible near the Texas coast. That uh, spot in the Atlantic, the potential tropical cyclone will likely soon get the name Bonnie. And again, no big effects here. So thankfully we do not have anything really happening besides the rainy pattern. So tonight we'll say about a 30% chance of overnight rain. Tomorrow in the next several days, a decent 60% chance for scattered downpours, helping to keep those temperatures down a little bit, especially compared to last week.